first grade. I thought he was some sort of a cool rebel. You know, with his guitar, his bald head, non-stop planting, or humming some hardcore tune. Without bothering to check if you're standing in the right queue, the right beat, or sometimes it didn't even bother to check if he was getting onto your nerves. At first, I was fascinated by you. Wow, a rocker for a roommate. How cool is that, I thought. Later, I realized he was more than a rocker. You see, he had this inborn talent in him that people rarely possess. He was an asshole. <laughs> oh, my name is Chant. I'm a Tamil Brahmin boy. Yes, yes, one of those types, the Tambrams. I was trained in classical music and I secretly learned drums against my father's will. Yes, I had a girlfriend too. Well, she wasn't exactly my girlfriend. At least I thought she was. To say it in Facebook terms, yeah, it's complicated. Uh, I have nothing to say about him. Except that he started waking me up playing slow cars on his cassette player. I mean, the guy actually had a cassette player. <laughs> <laughs> and these were going to be my wake up calls for the next four years. He was a typical damn rat. You know, the ones who actually have an opinion on all matters without really knowing anything. I could see he was fascinated by me. Until one day, when he saw a passport copy lying on the bed, he picked it up, saw it, and <coughs> said, Venkat Raman Swami Ayyengar! <laughs> you do are a damn damn! <laughs> you do are a damn damn! <laughs> that was the end of my rock star status. Anyways, my name is Venki. My father was a Hindustani classical teacher. And years of trying to train me, he gave a thing at the voice of a crow. <laughs> That's when I heard Bruce Springsteen and Brian Adams on MTV. <laughs> and I knew they were sabo. <laughs> I tried to sing like them. And guess what? I was good. FYI, Jahan doesn't know I'm trained in classical music. So let's keep that a secret. Pink Floyd, The Doors, Jimi Hendrix, you name the trippy guitar playing acid popping band. We listen to them all night long. You know, we even started our own rock band. We called it Paranoid United State of Suicidal Jump. <laughs> In short, pussy. <laughs> it means death of rival lovers looking for pain. It means nothing. When he just wanted to say pussy in front of the principal without getting expert. <laughs> and during the first annual day performance, our bass is chickened out. So Venki and I got drunk. Something he thought would be funny at that moment. And the next thing you know, all hell broke loose. I vomited. And the vomit projected straight from the stage to the audience <laughs> and landed on the fluid mechanic teacher's face. <laughs> Coming to think of it now, it was kind of ironic. Fluid on the fluid mechanic teacher. <laughs> Guess what? The weekly college magazine next day had the headline No more pussy on stage. <laughs> We were detained for a month and our parents were notified about this incident. Our parents overreacted and they tried to get our room shifted. But after this incident, no one in the entire hostel, including the mess workers, entertained us. So we promised parents we would stay in our rooms and study all day. But unfortunately, <coughs> staying long hours in the room, we discovered something else. We discovered Counter-Strike. <laughs> day and night, I started playing the game. I was a pro. I even had my own Counter-Strike name. People have started calling me by it. I was called a maverick. How old you know? Our grades have dropped drastically. I was the best player the hostel had ever seen. And Jan was just jealous of me. When he was so obsessed with this game, you know, there were nights when you would get Counter-Strike dreams and scream out, Fire in the hole! <laughs> <laughs> the hostel rooms were actually connected to a LAN system. Yo, know, even the day scholars wanted to be a part of this action. Yes, the day scholars. The scums of the planet. As we <laughs> like to call them. I didn't have any issues with them. In fact, a lot of them were interesting people to talk to, you know. Who would stand talking to those day scholars? You know, they were rich kids with rich friends. iPhones, iPads, 
my phone, my space. They even wore matching scarves. They were just a bunch of fancies. The game of death was Twinkie's answer to the day scholars. It was a Oscillate versus Day Scholars Counter Strike match. In short, Winky was called a drama queen for calling this the game of death. We were beating up the Day Scholars' asses royally. We were surely one of them this match. Unfortunately, one of the Day Scholars' teammates fell sick. And as for the rules, they need to find a replacement, else they would be disqualified. I couldn't expect such a victory. So I asked them, find a replacement and find us Oscillates. Like real man. So, I steeped it. Nowhere in the rule book was it mentioned anything about the day scholars or the Oslites. It was only people like Venki who always liked to think there was some rivalry. So, I wanted to really piss him off that day. He pissed me off real bad that day. It wasn't funny. One Oslite went rogue and joined the fancy ass day scholars team. It was disgusting. We started the match, and the next thing you know, we were in the final rounds. There were the sounds of the gunfire, anxious clicks on the mobs, and the commands being shouted over the microphones. We were losing a lot of men in the battle, and I was on a killing spree. And soon, I was out of ammo. I took out my knife and started walking slowly. I noticed someone in the opposite team with a knife. For some strange reason, I had a feeling it was Venki. <laughs> <laughs> I was being followed. I felt there was someone behind me. I turned around to see, and there was a shotgun pointing right between the eyes, waiting to pull the trigger in my reign of champ of chance. But the guy didn't move. As I moved ahead with my knife, he still retained his position. He let me knife him to death! <laughs> I knew how important this game was for Venki, so let him win. That night he came to the room, hugged me, and cried like a baby. He told me, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for retaining the legacy of the Marvel. <laughs> <laughs> what a drama queen. <laughs> With the college coming to an end, we decided to do something wild. We decided to go to a dance bar. <laughs> for hours of persuading him and convincing him that he can wash up his sins early in the morning with some holy water, 12 rounds around the temple, or some magic basma. We got into the dance bar. Yes, one of those dingily flashing signboard that was named Jolly Time Dancers. We took our first few steps inside and the, and the music sent a shiver down my spine. The music was creepy. It set us in mood. And the lights were just perfect. Dim, dark, red and smoky. Some women were giving horrible stares at us and biting their lips trying to seduce us. <laughs> Women were excited on seeing me. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't stand this sight. Some of them were mothers, sisters, or maybe even wives. It didn't feel right. I was at the right place at the right time. That was it. I decided to move. I couldn't handle it anymore. Actually, I was more scared than giant. And as we rushed out to go out, sorry, you know how it is, we saw her. This girl, she smiled at me. But unfortunately, she was dancing for a fat old man who was throwing notes on her. She wasn't happy with him. She didn't like him either. I could see it in her eyes. She looked at me and gave a look that said, Hell. She was a squid. She wanted me to help her. And Jan thought it was a cry out to him. And soon, another man pulled her by her arms. And before I could do... I don't know. Before I could... See, I don't know. Uh, before I could turn around to see, Jan was already walking out with her towards the door. On seeing this, the bar owner signaled the bouncers and they tried stopping us. I, I got too scared and I tried to run away with the girl. <laughs> All I can remember is Jan's scared face. I knew they were going to beat him up for this stupid heroic act or maybe even kill him. So, I distracted them. I pushed the chip. 
happened and know whatever I did. Oh, I pushed everything. I pushed the tables, chairs, everything. And I got over the dance bar counter and started singing loudly. People in the bar got confused with Venky's sudden stage performance. <laughs> they tried to sell me, but he's setting them. I still don't know why he did this for me. Why the hell he tried to save my ass? And as I made the exit, I saw him screaming, Run! Run! Just run fast! And the door shut as I headed away with the girl. When the trauma or Venki, as he called him, was a great human being, a great musician, and most importantly, a great roommate. Today we gather here on his 10th death anniversary to pay homage to him, to remember his face, or to remind us all that all good things come in funny packages. <laughs> <laughs> he saved my life and gave away his own one night. And today, as I stand here talking about him, I'm sure you would be sharing a similar story somewhere in the heaven to the God saying, You know what? I just not puked that day. Pussy would have been the greatest rock band. Huh. I miss you guys. Take care. <laughs>